Hey, Christ Fellowship Church, how you doing, family? It is Friday afternoon, it's Fun Friday, and it's Fun Friday night. Hope you have a great Friday night. And I want to just take a moment and talk about three areas just to update our church family in. Uh, one is in the area of prayer, two is in the area of online church, and then three is what's happening with our missional life groups. And so let's start with prayer. Uh, we have been praying for Gary McMillan for some time. We know, and maybe if you don't, uh, he had COVID-19. He was in the hospital, and we're praising God because the doctor has sent him home. So he's now home, and, and he has an oxygen, t- oxygen tank with him. And uh, I think we need to really continue to pray for Gary that he be completely healed because he still has what I think they describe it as glass pneumonia. And so let's pray for a complete healing for Gary. And then also Marguerite let us know that she has uh, melanoma. So we want to be lifting her up. We want to pray that she be completely healed from this melanoma. And so we're going to do that. Encourage us all to be praying for her. And then lastly, today, uh, I got a note for, well, a number of us got a note from from Chris, uh, Chris Russell, that his brother Gene is in a hospital in Tallahassee and was found unresponsive. And so we don't know exactly what it is, but he's unresponsive and uh, he's, I guess he's he's alive, but he's in a a coma, a state of coma, or I'm not sure the particulars, but we're just gonna pray for Gene that the Lord heal him. And we're gonna ask the Lord that, that the pray for wisdom for the doctors and that, that Gene get healed. All right, so in fact, what we'll do is at the end of this update, we'll take some time, we'll pray together. Uh, just for those three areas. And then also, just to mention what's going on with online church, uh, we, our leadership, our elders and our deacons are continuing to seek the Lord and we're just taking it week by week. And if we don't feel it's right for us to dive back into coming together in person uh, in church, we're not gonna do that, we won't press it. So we're continuing to seek the Lord week by week and I'll just keep you informed on that. And then lastly, uh, just to mention what's happening with our missional life groups. And this, again, is such an exciting time for us. We're doing our missional life groups online. And so what's happening, and we started a couple weeks ago, we're beginning to call individuals. We've broken up uh, our, just our, in terms of Christ Fellowship Church people into various groups. And so your leader will likely be calling you very soon. We're encouraging people just to get one meeting together just for fellowship's sake. And we all just crave just to be with one another and to hang out with one another. And so we're asking these leaders to make sure to call their individuals uh, that are part of their missional life group just to meet together, just to pray together, be together. Yeah, even if it's online, it's still fantastic to see one another's faces. And then also this, this goes into a greater part of our church's mission because we are missional life groups, we are moving them towards mission. So we're seeing these not merely as Bible studies and discipleship, uh, units and that they are that it's good to be studying the word we need to be doing that but these are also groups that are going to be formed to figure out ways with God's wisdom to reach people that don't know him and so uh, that's we're going to be talking more about it and I also want to mention that right now uh, Paige and John who are over this area for our church Paige and John Crispin have completed their first training video and we have it on our YouTube channel, and you can actually go to Christ's Fellowship Church YouTube channel, and you're gonna see the services, our worship services, and right underneath that, we have this little section where it's uh, MLG training video. And so we have the first one, it's posted there. Please check it out. And then we also created a page for it on our website at cfcvaldosta.org, and you can find that uh, there, on the. I, it's a page on our website, And I think it's just MLG uh, training, something like that. But that's, again, where you can find that first training video. And these training videos are for all of us. So they're for leaders, but they're also for people that are part of uh, these missional life groups. So uh, go check it out. It's it's about a 20 minute long video training and they do a fantastic job. And I'm so excited because they really have caught the vision as to where we're going as a church family, especially with these missional life groups. 
Um, that's the update that I have. If you have uh, maybe further questions or you need, you, you have prayer requests or you need to uh, talk to me about anything, uh, go ahead and email me at praycfc at gmail.com. And that's just been a great uh, email for me in terms of uh, managing everything that's going on with our, our channel as well as our website. So email me there and we can talk and we can set up a time. All right. Let's take a moment and let's pray for Gary. Let's pray for Marguerite. And let's pray for Chris's brother, Gene. Let's pray together. Lord, we are so grateful that you have us together as a family. We're so grateful, Lord, that your Holy Spirit, your very Holy Spirit is leading us. We're grateful, Lord, that you haven't let go of us. And we're grateful, Lord, that you have such a bright future for us in you. We thank you for that. Lord, we continue to pray for Gary. We're, we want to praise you, Lord, that he's at home right now. Thank you for that. But God, we want to pray for his total healing, Jesus. We pray that his lungs be completely healed. We will long to see him completely healed and restored. And we simply ask for his healing in the name of Jesus. And we do the same for Marguerite, Lord. We ask God that you completely heal her from this uh, melanoma and that she has, uh, yeah, just heal her, Lord. And I pray even in, through this whole process that she can just look to you and enjoy your amazing presence. And then, Lord, we want to pray for Chris's brother, Gene, Lord, being unresponsive. God, we pray that you would help him, help the doctors, give the doctors wisdom, Lord. But, Lord, that you would just help him come back. Whatever's going on, Lord, we just pray for Gene right now, Lord Jesus. Get a hold of him and revive him, help him, and heal him. And we give you all the praise and all the glory. And we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. All right. Amen. All right. We got a couple things going. I know some missional life groups are in, in, in play uh, this weekend. I know our group is going to be meeting on Sunday at 6 p.m. So looking forward to getting in your missional life group. And then also look forward to our uh, service, our online service, which will be posted sometime before 9 a.m. All right. That's uh, t today's update. And uh, I praise God for you. I'm lifting you up and looking forward to seeing how the Lord is going to get us through this entire time. All right, we'll see you soon.